guys. Just a check-in here while we walk down to the mailbox to get the mail. So here's Mabel. Oh, there she is. Mabel. <laughs> and she's just now old enough to be able to ride in the wagon without any extra help. She can just sit there. So cute. And it's kind of a long walk down to the mailbox, so figured I'd bring you guys with us. And she loves this little walk. We just started them yesterday. And let me tell you guys, the sun's in my face right now, so if I'm making a weird face or something, sorry. But it has been insanely hot in our house today. If you guys don't know, we live in a fixer-upper. And one of the things it does not have, among others, is air conditioning. And it's just been so hot today. There's a heat advisory. So in the house downstairs, it's like 85, 86 right now. And upstairs, we have a little window unit and we keep it closed off. So it's maybe, actually, I think it just balances it out up there since heat rises. So maybe a degree lower up there who knows but we've all been a little frazzled today and kind of at wit's end outside there's a decent breeze although not right now while i'm doing this video but it's been the most comfortable place to be in the shade maybe on a hammock so today has been difficult but we've been resting and we haven't done too much which has been nice See if we can check in with Mabel again. Mabel. Hey. The sun's in her face, so she won't look up probably at us, but she looks pretty happy there. All right, let's go down to the mailbox. So instead of whining the whole time on this video, I should at least say something good. Um, we have a really great family member that heard about some of the things we're living without, like air conditioning. But also, we have super hard water here. And so we can't drink it, we can't wash with it. And water softeners are very expensive, especially one that will solve the problems we have because we've got like crazy hard water, the hardest in the country. And it's got iron problems lots of iron deposits and so we just haven't gotten a water softener I'm checking the mail and there's nothing here we go and uh, anyway we were talking to this family member and she said well what can I help you guys with and so um, we accepted her help and she bought us a water softener and a little water filtration system so we just got to pay for a plumber to put these things in because i mean i could do some plumbing but this is a little more serious but we're super excited so you know who you are if you watch this video thank you so much we can't wait to have that in place it's going to be so nice to be able to drink our own water and not buy gallons and gallons of it and every time we want to cook with water or do anything with it we have to go to the shower where we have a little shower head that filters it so we fill it up from the shower head and then bring it to the kitchen <laughs> so it's going to be a really nice improvement and um, also a guy down the street he pulled an old air unit off of a house that he was tearing down so one day we'll be able to pay somebody to hopefully put that on ours and that will solve today's problem maybe <laughs> it's an old system and putting it on our old system might be a shot in the dark but we'll see anyhow there's plenty of positives it was a really nice restful day we got a lot of good family time in and just planning some other things in the future like Archer's birthday 
and maybe what kind of dog breed we might bring to our homestead here soon. So we're blessed. I can't really complain, especially after being outside in this breeze. Now I can smile a little more. Anyhow, that's the end of the walk. So what time was that? Uh, just about five and a half minutes to walk there and back. That's not too bad. All right, guys, until next time, one more check-in with Mabel. Hi, Mabel. Say hey. <laughs> All right, see you guys.